Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Respected brothers and sisters in Islam Today we will be talking about friendship Friendship play a very big and important role in our life As it is impossible for us to exist individually We need friendship to share good moments together We need friendship to be there for us at our lowest time in life we need friendship for networking and we also need friendship to be there for us in terms of financial crisis. Sadly, a lot of people do not take into consideration the people they make their friends. A lot of people, they take both the good and the bad. They allow a lot of people come into their life as being their friends. Hence, you see a lot of betrayal, loss of trust and people in turn will not want to believe in friendship. It was said that choose your friend and do not allow your friends to choose you. What this means is that before befriending somebody, you have to weigh the pros and the cons of being friends with this person. Now, what does Islam has to say about friendship and how has Islam projected friendship? It is clear from the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Friendship does not only benefit in this world, but it extends to the hereafter. As it is clear from the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wherein he said that, الْأَخِلَّاءُ يَوْمَئِذٍ بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوٌ إِلَّا الْمُتَّقِينَ That on that day, close friends will be enemies except those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except those whom their friendship was based on love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in mentioning the incidents or in mentioning one of the incidents that will happen on the day of judgment, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that on that day the sun will be brought closer to mankind and when they are feeling, when they, when they've started feeling the heat of the sun, they will start looking for pious people that will intercede for them on the day of judgment. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also recounts that on this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shade seven categories of people under his shade. And on this day, there will be no shade except the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he mentioned that from amongst this category, we have people that love themselves for the sake of Allah. They met for the sake of Allah and they departed for the sake of Allah. A lot of sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which actually indicated that friends on the day of judgment, pious friends on the day of judgment will intercede for one another on the day of judgment. In a nutshell, what we are trying to say is, since friendship play a very big part in our lives, we need to be very keen in choosing our friends. The Prophet ﷺ has mentioned, he said that, Man tashabbaha biqawmin fahuwa minhum, that anybody who associate with a particular people that that person is from amongst that, per that, 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 that people. So when you connect yourself, when you surround yourself with people that are fearful of Allah, with people that are keen to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you see yourself trying to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when you surround yourself with people that are disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or people that are um, committing all sorts of sins then in no distant time you will see yourself committing these sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us and um, surround us with friends that will call us towards goodness with friends that will remind us of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from friends that will take us away from his path and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in turn to make us friends that will be good friends to our friends until we meet again assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh